Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel with GW3D 3D modeling basic tutorial. Today I will create feedback fully models. First uh, we can uh, create a new part and I will use a sketch. We can choose a green uh, plan. Okay. The next uh, I will create a circle object start from uh, center point in here. You can use uh, this option center with radius. Click in here. For radius you can set into 10. Okay, the next circles we can set radius into 17. The last circles we can set into 55. Okay. Now uh, we can create line object start from this point. Okay, I will move into here. We create again start from this point into here. I will use a quick dimension. To give a distance from uh, this uh, two line objects, okay, we can set in here into 10. Next, we can click at this point, move into uh, this uh, center point, and we can give a distance in here into 5. Okay, now I will create circle object with uh, this option, two point radius, and for first point, we can use a tangent option. Okay, you can click at this point and click again in here. The next we can set for radius into 5. We also can create in here with uh, radius 5. Okay, the next we can create at uh, this point with uh, radius 6. And the last circle we create uh, at uh, this point. Okay, with the uh, radius 6 and you can click OK. We can use uh, one touch trim in here. Okay, I will cut uh, this uh, line objects. We cut in here. Next, uh, we cut uh, these uh, circles. Okay, we cut again uh, this uh, line object. Okay, now uh, you can close cut. And then in here, I will uh, cross cut again. We can use uh, this uh, red plan. In here, uh, we can create a uh, line object with a uh, draw command. Okay, I will create uh, stuff from this point to the left. Move into here. Okay, you can click at this point. Move to the bottom here. Okay, now in here uh, we can use a uh, quick dimension. We can give a uh, dimension into this uh, sketch. We can set in here into 14. In uh, this line object into 12. Okay, in the top here I will set into 3. We set again in here into 3. Okay. For this 10 in here, uh, we can set uh, into 5. And also in here into 5. Okay. The last uh, star, click at this point. You can click in here. We can set into 8. Okay. Now uh, we can use a fillet command. You can click here fillet. And I will uh, set the radius into 2. You can fillet at uh, this uh, 2 point uh, line objects. You also can fillet at uh, this point. Okay. Now uh, we can use, uh, sorry, uh, we can close uh, this cat and then we can use uh, move tool. So to move uh, this uh, object, this cat into here. You can click here move and I will use uh, point to point. For entity, you can click uh, these objects and from uh, point in here, we can set in the middle. Okay, so in middle in here. And then for a two point, we can set again into middle. We can click at this point. We can click OK. We can move again uh, these uh, objects. Okay, now I will use uh, this option. And for direction, we can set into Y axis. In here, we can set into minus 3. Okay. The next, uh, we can convert uh, this uh, sketch into three models. You can use uh, extrude command. And in here, uh, we can click uh, this profile. Okay, I will use uh, this option. And then you can click at uh, this region. So we can uh, set for extrusion into 6. Okay. We extrude again uh, this uh, profile. And we can use uh, this option. You can click at uh, this uh, point. Next, uh, we can extrude in uh, 10 point. Okay. We can copy these uh, objects. Okay, you can use a uh, button in here, and then I will use uh, this option, circular. 
for base uh, we can select uh, this uh, object so you can activate uh, this uh, history and you can click on this point now uh, we can use uh, extrude base and next uh, for uh, direction we can click in a uh, green uh, arrows in here Okay, and I will set for a deref into spacing and number I will set into 5. You can click OK. Now uh, we can combine additional objects. You can uh, click uh, add shape. And now for base I will click uh, these objects. For it you can select uh, these uh, 5 objects. Okay, this object already combined. The next uh, we can convert uh, these objects into 3D models with a revolve command. You can click here revolve and for profile you can select this profile. The next for axis you can click in uh, this uh, green uh, axis. Okay, you can click in here and you can click OK. Now uh, we can combine again using this add shape. For base point you can click in here and then for it we can select uh, these objects. You can click OK to apply. Finally, uh, we can use uh, fillet command to fillet at uh, this uh, edge. Okay, you can click here fillet, and I will set for radius into three. You can fillet uh, at uh, this edge. Okay, we fillet again in here. Next in here, in here. Okay, and the last in here. Okay, we can uh, fillet again. Okay, I will set the radius into 2 and now for uh, I will use uh, this option quick uh, chain pick we can select uh, this object okay, at uh, this uh, edge okay, with uh, radius 2 okay, we can select in here uh, sorry we can click in here quick chain pick and select uh, this edge Okay, we click again in here. Click in here. Okay, very easy to fillet with uh, this uh, software. We also can click at this point. Okay, the last in here. And in here. We can click OK to apply. The next, uh, we can fillet in the bottom here. Okay, you click a fillet again and then use a radius 2. We can use this option, quick chain pick. And I will select at uh, this uh, point. Okay, we click again in here. The next in here. Okay, now we can select at uh, this uh, edge. Okay, select again in here. In here. And the last in here. You can click OK to apply. I will fill again with the radius 2. Okay, you can click at this edge. And we also can click in here. You can click OK. Now uh, we already create this uh, simple 3D model VBAT fully with uh, GW3D software. Okay. If you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video.